Hello, welcome to the second lecture of this series. So today I'll explain what are conditional statements in Java. So these are very simple. It's nothing but if, else if, and else. So let me explain what it is. It's like in English how you converse. You say if it is raining, then I won't go out. Else. Else means if it is not raining. So you will say I will go out. So this is like if some condition. Else I will do something else. It's like if I am hungry I will eat. Else I won't eat. So that is what is if and else means. So what is else if? Else if is when you have more than two choices. So if else is like when you have two choices. You will say when it is raining i won't go out when it is not raining i'll go out so you have two choice over here let's say you have more than two choice let's let me give you an example let's say you have grading system for your school so it tells if you score more than 91 till 100 marks you will get a and it says if you get 81 to 90 you will get grade B and if you get 71 to 80 you will get grade C and anything below below 70 is let's say D grade so in this situation let me explain how I am going to use if else if and else so I am going to tell like this I will say if the marks is between 90 and 100 then the grade is a else if i'll say else if the grade is between 81 and 90 the grade is b or else if the marks is in the range of 71 to 80 the grade is c and everything below 70 right so i'm going to put else i'll say else it is d I need not even put this condition. I need not even put this. I'll say else. Else means anything other than all of these. So it is understood. So let me explain about else a little more clearly. Let's say your favorite ice cream is vanilla. Or uh, and your second and your second favorite is chocolate. And there might be another hundred different flavors but you don't like any of those so you will tell let's say your friend is going to the shop to buy an ice cream for you so you'll tell him if vanilla flavor is available buy or else if chocolate is present else if means this is not present okay you're telling else right so if vanilla is not present then the second choice is chocolate so I'll say else, that is if vanilla is not present, I'll say else, go for chocolate. And if chocolate is also not present and you don't want to eat the rest of the 100 flavors, you will not put something like this. You won't say if, else if it is strawberry, then don't buy. Then you won't put another else if and say if it is butterscotch, then don't buy. There might be... A, another 100 flavors you cannot write else for all the 100 flavors so instead of all this you will simply write one else it will represent all the remaining things other than these two okay and you will say don't buy i hope you understood if else if and else in general now let's talk about how we can do that in java so let me first write down the syntax you will say if then you will open a bracket then here you will give the condition okay then you will open a braces then you will tell what is to be done when this condition is met then you will close this then you will write else if it's the same you will say else if this is for the condition you close the braces then you open braces then you will describe what 
what are the things to be done when this condition is met then you will close this and for else it is a little different since else represents anything and everything other than if and else if we need not put any condition over here this is not required so we'll just say else we'll open the braces we'll write what needs to be done and then we'll close it so example is i'll say if ice cream is vanilla then buy you get it here the condition is given if this condition is met you will go inside this part of the code and you will execute whatever is written here okay now here it will be like vanilla sorry if the ice cream is chocolate then you will say buy and else you will say don't buy so this is the syntax for if else if and else in java now let me quickly show you a program for positive and negative number so you'll be given a number let's say you are given a number 5 you need to check if it is positive or negative let's use if else to solve this problem let's say we are given a number n and the n is 5 we need to check if n is positive or negative so as i have explained about if and else so i'll say if n is greater than 0 we know that any number which is greater than 0 is called positive and any number which is lesser than 0 is called negative okay so i'm going to use that logic over here i'll say if n is greater than 0 i'm going to print that it is positive then i'll close this then i'll say else i can do two things over here i can use else and i can tell that it is negative i can either use else and tell if the number is not greater than 0 then what are the numbers the numbers will be less than 0 i can either do that or i can mention it using if that is else if n is less than 0 then print it is negative and i'll just close the program so if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you